Elizabeth Warren taking the bait. That's right. She took a DNA test uh, because President Trump had been calling her out. Now, well, you know what? He's mocking her for that. In fact, it feels like the world's mocking her for it. Trump tweeting today, though, the likely 2020 candidate is getting slammed. She took a bogus DNA test, and it shows she may be 1,024th, one far less than the average American. Now Cherokee Nation denies her. Phony. Warren has used her supposed Native American heritage to advance her career, with Harvard uh, even touting her as, get this, they touted her as, quote, their first woman of color professor. Doror Murdoch is back with me. And Doror, what bothers me with that is, you, when, you know, and I tweeted, when you usurp the pain and suffering of a group of people for your own personal gain, I think she's a Rachel Dolzell of, of politics. I mean, this is, this is, a, this is beyond embarrassing. She, she snatched their 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 birthright that they you know and took someone's spot no that's absolutely right she is at most uh, according to this dna test 164th cherokee uh, if i can let you in on a family secret i'm one eighth chinese so i am eight times more chinese than she is cherokee oddly enough thanks to my great grandfather was from either guangzhou or hong kong way back when but uh, you're right it's not just a matter of uh, oh this is an interesting detail in my life she's used this to advance herself this uh, first woman of color at harvard law school uh, the powwow chow book she wrote all this whole uh, saga that she's developed and now it turns out that she's even less indian than the average white american which is extraordinary it's extraordinary that she accepted you know like the, the i would have been so ashamed to, you know someone said hey you know, we want to give you the, the, the first woman of color. You know, we want to give you that the designation, that distinction. We want to give it to you. I mean, think of all the women of color yep. who were waiting in line who Absolutely. could have gotten that distinction. Absolutely. And she cuts, uh, you know, fraudulently cuts uh, ahead of line ahead of all of them. And she's been building this up as, as part of her political persona for, for decades now. This was supposed to, to I think she, uh, I think I read that she in the last 24 hours put out 44 tweets about this. I mean, she's really trying <laughs> desperately to. A little to defensive, it, huh? A little defensive, trying to clean it up. Uh, this is uh, a pretty inauspicious way to start your 2020 campaign. And it's the kind of thing that sticks, you know, uh, the term uh, Pocahontas or Focahontas, which I prefer. And if she, uh, you know, and she's on the ballot in Massachusetts, I don't know if this is going to bring her down. It's not going to help. And then if she's around in 2020, this is just going to come up over and over and over again. It's uh, the kind of thing that she's not going to be able to scrub off. What does this say about <laughs> President Trump as bombastic, ham-fisted, as, uh, you know, uh, unorthodox as he is, that he gets these folks who you would think maybe uh, otherwise know better to take the bait. I mean, she took the bait, yep. and she really thought she was coming at him strong. She had the video set up. She had the tweet set up. Uh, you know, instead of just going about her business and, and, and focus on the things that she talks about all the time, redistribution of wealth and those kind of things. Yeah, you'd think she'd stick with her core issues and talk about that. But I guess the, the Democrats are now in a situation where you talk about that massive jobs report. I mean, uh, President Trump is now the 7.1 million job man. Uh, it's very hard to run against that. So if you have no other ideas or no other solutions, you might as well go back and try to talk about your, your uh, fake Indian heritage. And now we, now we see how uh, artificial I, I, you know, it is. It's, it's without a doubt a, a huge, huge uh, mistake. Uh, and, and, and then I can see also the timing uh, ahead of the midterms. It's pretty selfish to be focused on her own t potential 2020 right. campaign yep. when the Democrats out there throughout the country are grappling for any kind of airtime and any kind of press they can get. Uh, they are. But again, the GOP, I think, is running on the basic concept. Uh, are you better off now than you were two years ago? And the, G the Democrats just don't have an answer to that. They just don't. So they're not left with very much other than talking about, uh, you know, their imaginary heritage or whatever else, whatever, uh, whatever else they can conjure yeah. up. I have it's so many almost, jokes friends that I have, but sad, I'll skip really. them all. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Deroy, thanks a lot. Good to see you.